Hi and welcome back to another Dunk Reviews with myself Duncan. I hope you enjoyed the last video which was the Curse Within an Unsigned Band but now it's time to get back to the big boys and this video is all about Trivial. Yes, Trivium are back with this, their new album, Ember to Inferno, and I hope I pronounced this right, Ab Initio. Now, the hardcore Trivium fans out there will realise that Ember to Inferno was in fact the debut album that they released back in 2003. Newer fans will realise that this album is extremely hard to come by. So the Ab Initio is Latin for From the Beginning. So this is Trivium, showing the new Trivium family how the, the roots of Trivium, how they got their sound. So this is Trivium from the beginning, Ab Initio. So this new album uh, was released in December the 2nd and consists of 12 of the original songs from Ember to Inferno plus 13 new songs. Now not new songs in the way that they've been to the studio and recorded it, but new songs from previously unreleased material. So you'll notice in a lot of the songs, the titles have Latin names and that refers to old EPs, old B-sides, if you will. Now this album could split the Trivium fans. You're going to have your passionate Trivium fans that were there from the beginning that will appreciate these, the roots of Trivium. But the newer fans, it might split them because obviously this shows the Trivium roots with Matt Heavy screams in all the songs. A lot of the fans didn't like it then and they've came kind of new to Trivium since they've kind of cut that out. Just like M Shadows did with Avenged Sevenfold, they too, you know, before City Evil, they, was, they were mostly screaming. So this is going to sort out the Trivium boys from the men to show who really are the true Trivium fans out there. What I like about this, this album is yes, it's an old debut but they've not remastered it in the way that you would think they would. They've kept the songs raw and it shows you the power and passion. It, you know, it is, it's vintage trivial it's how they became the power force that they are in thrash metal today. If they overproduced it, 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 it could have, they would have it lost its energy. Now the songs may have not been remastered but what has been given the 21st century touch is the artwork. Now for me this is one of my favourite things about this album. It's the album cover as you would have seen at the beginning of the video. As soon as I seen that, all I could think was that has got my new tattoo written all over it. Ab Initio shows the pure talent of Trivium. It shows how they became so respected in the thrash metal industry today. And songs such as Pillars of Serpent, with it, the intro for that just shows even at a young age how technically sound this band were and how tight they were as a unit. Songs such as Pain, and again you'll see the Latin afterwards, Rubber, which is red I believe, they've kept that, as I say, unmastered, it's raw, it's powerful, it gets you going. But on the flip side, some of the songs that they've kept, it can sound a bit amateurish. Songs such as Lake of Fire, the vocals, it, it could have done with some extra editing, some mastering, just to bring it up to where they are. I guess we're so used to the high standards that is trivial. Um, and we need to remember that this was, as I say, back in 2013 years ago, then at the start, you know, when money wouldn't have been as big as it is today. So they couldn't afford to, to master as they would be able to now. So as I say, some of the songs, it works, it shows the raw energy, some of the songs can sound a bit amateurish. So what I urge Trivium fans when they listen to this, is to remember, it is a re-release of their past. It is not the sound they are now, it's how they, have, how they started. They've evolved to where they are now, but everywhere needs a beginning. And in Ember to Inferno, that is their beginning. It is thrash metal, it is purest form, and you will not find many better than Trivium. So as always with any album, I will pick my top five, which is, it was hard on this, as I say, there's 25 songs to go through. But again, in my opinion, I would love to hear in the comments below of your top five. Now, starting for me, number five, I went for Pain. Number four, I went for The Storm. Number three, I went for The Deceived. Number two, I went for Thrust. And number one, 
I went for the epic Pillars of Serpent. Enjoy this album, enjoy Trivium from the beginning, and tune in next week for more reviews.